the phrase, one for the road, could soon take on a whole new meaning. This car is being filled with a biofuel made from the unwanted residue of whiskey production. It's the first time Edinburgh-based Celtic Renewables have tested their petrol and diesel alternative, called biobutanol. The car's engine hasn't been modified. Instead, the company has readapted a century-old fermentation process that was abandoned in the era of cheap gasoline. It's quite fitting to use a Ford for this historic drive as the original Model T Ford ran on biofuel and the fermentation that we've developed to put the fuel in this car is 100 years old, proven at large scale. And we're simply going back to the past to bring the whole technology into a modern context. The team first made biobutanol in their lab at Edinburgh Napier University. It's made from waste barley kernels known as draff, which is combined with pot ale, a yeasty liquid left over after distillation. The Scottish malt whisky industry produces some 50,000 tonnes of draft and 2 billion litres of pot ale each year. In making our fuel from the residues of the Scottish malt whisky industry, we can provide both an economic and environmental sustainability to the industry and grow a brand new sustainable industry of scale in this country that we can export all over the world. The company recently received £9 million in funding to build a production plant, which aims to be up and running in 2019. It will be able to produce half a million litres of the fuel with the waste from their existing distillery partner. But they say all the raw material available in Scotland means they could eventually produce 50 million litres of biofuel a year.